The film I will explain today, its name is A Corpse Bride. The film starts with the main character, Victor. He was making a drawing of a butterfly in his room silently. A butterfly was also imprisoned in a jar there. He opens the window and releases it from the jar. Then, we a man outside, he was a now... That a couple ordered that the people who are invited for practice for their daughter's wedding to avoid disturbance or any mishap on the wedding day. Now, we see the couple who are the parents of Victor. They are worried and excited about their son's wedding. They were excited a lot and were continuously saying, on another side, we see the parents of their daughter-in-law were, weren't happy from this wedding, as they don't like Victor. Even they were also singing. It was their trend to sing in the wedding house. They were, they were richer than Victor's family. Maybe this is the reason for being unhappy. But stop, let me tell you. There is a particular time to stay rich. Everything has its own time. Now they have a lot of debt, even they can't pay it. They have no savings and were worried about taking loans. We see from this perspective, Victor's family is richer than the nun was marrying their daughter because they know how they are. That's why they trapped Victor and the parents decide they will get married. Even Victor and the girl haven't seen ever each other. They were thinking that when their daughter will be married to Victor, maybe their debt goes down. At least their daughter will go to her home. Here the girl was when her parents come to her room, she says while being sad, Mother, what if I don't like Victor? I don't even have seen him. What if he doesn't like me? So, her mother says, like or dislike doesn't matter. Look at your father. I didn't like him even then I married him. Just to keep my parents happy. But today's kids are don't know what they are. Can't you be happy in your parents' happiness? The girl says that's what I am doing here, the girl being sad at reason she couldn't do anything. It was the time when Victor will come here with his pet. Their servant tells them they have arrived. They hurriedly go down to welcome them and they make them sit in a room. But Victor sees a piano outside and was attracted to it. He sits there and starts playing the piano. Hearing his voice, the girl comes there, and the name of the girl is compatible with Victor's name. It means Victoria. Now we will talk while calling her name Victoria. When she comes down, Victor gets scared while seeing her. The table on which he was sitting also falls, he says to her. Hmm, hello, Victoria says to him, so you are Victor. You were paling the piano. Do you know? My mother didn't let me play the piano till today. I was surprised at who is playing piano in our house. Victor says, Um, just then Victoria sits near the piano. She takes out a lavender flower from a vase and gives it to him. It means maybe Victoria likes Victor. Meanwhile, Victoria's mother comes there. She sees that Victoria is with Victor. She asks her to cut. The wedding ceremony practices are going on. Here Victor and Victoria are being taught that how to say properly the promises before marriage. But 23 hours passed and Victor can't say those words properly. They all and even Victoria were irritated by that how null-minded is he. Meanwhile, a mysterious and strange man comes there. His practice is going on here. I thought today is the wedding ceremony. He sits there. But remember, today is just practice, not the wedding. Now father asks Victor to take out his ring. Victor takes out the ring and it slips from his hand. It means here Victor wasn't doing The ring falls on land. While rolling it moves forward when Victor tries to catch it. The candle stand also falls there. The candle falls on the dress of Victoria's mother due to it. It catches fire. Victor gets panicked out without thinking anything. He leaves from there. He goes into the woods means in the fog. Doing there. He says, Victor, what happens to you? He says, OK, let me practice alone here. Nobody is seeing me here and I can speak properly. 
Here he repeats his promises that he had to speak. Now there was some dry breath. While doing practice, Victor puts the ring in the branch. It means he wears the ring to the finger-like branch. The branch starts moving. It also pulls Victor inside. Those branches hold his hand. Victor sees that was a skeleton, not branches. With it, the skeleton comes out from there while wearing a bridal dress. It was of a female. It was a corpse bride. Coming out, it says to Victor, I accept you. It was thinking that Victor comes here to marry it. Victor immediately runs from there. While running, he reaches a bridge and relaxes that thank God it left. When he turns back, it was in front of him. Being scared, Victor gets faint. After some time, when he wakes up, he sees there were strange skeletons and creatures around him. Victor says, where am I? Where have you brought me? They all tell him this is a world of dead people means a world of skeletons. Victor gets scared. There he takes out a sword of a dead body and starts fighting with them. But they all were relaxed and says, leave it. Let us sing a song. In that song, the past story of the corpse bride was clear that she liked someone. But because her parents don't like the boy, she thought that she will marry him secretly. The girl was wearing the bridal dress of her mother and had some money. She came into the forest under this tree where she met you. She came at three, zero and waiting for her friend. The friend who asked her to get married. But he didn't come after a long time. After it, the girl doesn't remember anything. When she opened her eyes, she was dead and in our world. It means the boy who said to her that he will marry her was in fact a bad human. He came there and killed her after taking money from her. They all tell Victor it was there from then. Only true love can make it free from there. Victor, you have done it, and here the corpse bride starts dancing with him. But Victor says, spare me. I didn't make it wear a ring, it was just a mistake. He escaped from there. Corpse bride follows him. There was an insect in the eye of the corpse bride, and it was a worm. It says to the bride, I didn't like Victor, don't know why are you following him. But the bride's still chasing him. It reaches a place and Victor was here to be at. He sees the bride is already in front of him. Here corpse bride gives him a box. There were some bones in it. And as those bones come out, a skeleton of a dog was made. It was Victor's wedding gift. Victor becomes happy after seeing it. Because here Victor hits an idea. He says it will not spare me so I will say to her that I will take it to my world to meet with my parents. This bride will happily go to meet my parents. There I will send it back with the help of my people and will get rid of it. He talks about it to corpse bride and it agrees and was happy. Now Victor talks to an old skeleton and it says, okay, I will take you to your world. But the skeleton says to them, if you want to come back here, you have to say a secret world. Then they reach their world. It means the living world of Victor. He says to Corpse Bride to sit here and wait for me. I am just coming after telling my parents. Maybe if we go together, they will be angry at me. Peace that you married secretly and didn't tell us. The Corpse Bride understands everything, but Victor wants to get rid of it. Now Victor goes to Victoria. He says to her, Victoria, there is a problem. I like you. I was happy that I am getting married to you, such a beautiful girl. But there is a ghost behind me. It is not sparing me. On the side, we see Corpse Bride get tired while sitting in the forest. It takes out the insect from its eye and it says to it, what are you doing here? Go behind Victor. I think he will also deceive you. The Corpse Bride comes behind Victor. He was still talking to Victoria, but he didn't tell her that they got married. Victoria asks, who is it? This is Victor. Hearing this, Victoria gets shocked. Victor says, no, I didn't. The corpse bride comes in anger. It takes Victor with it and flies. It says the secret world from which they again move to the world of the dead. 
On another side, Victoria was worried and she tells her parents that Victor married a dead girl. None believes in her. And then Victoria goes to a priest so he may tell her something. The priest says to her daughter nothing can happen to her brain. How can an alive human get married to a dead? He drops her at her parents. The man who sat in their practice and said, I thought today is a wedding. He says to Victoria's father, look, I am a rich man. I don't lack anything, so I ask you for your daughter's hand. Uh, it means he was saying to Victoria's father that he wants to marry Victoria. What would be bigger than this for Victoria's greedy father? He happily says yes. Now we see the corpse bride and Victor in the dead one. We were in their room. The corpse bride was showing attitude to Victor that why you go to meet Victoria when I am your wife. Victor says, try to understand we didn't get married willingly. You are dead and I am alive. How can I live with you? If I would know this will happen, I will never put the ring there. Hearing it, the corpse bride gets sad. It sits alone and starts playing the piano. Victor also sits with it. He also starts playing the piano. But then a voice comes that one more dead comes here. He was none other than Victor's servant. He tells Victor that Victoria is marrying someone else. It's that rich businessman hearing it. Victor feels broken. He throws her lavender flower. When Victor was coming back to his room corpse, Bride was talking to another skeleton. It was saying to it, my daughter, I know you like Victor so much, but he is an alive human. And if you want to live with him for always, so you have to ask Victor to go back to his world and drink poison to get die so that he can come to the dead world. Then you will be married again. Then you can stay together. The corpse bride becomes sad, but Victor hears it and he says to it, I know why you are sad. How can you say this to me to go the world to die? But now I am also ready to do this. Corpse bride becomes happy. The dead people around also become happy. The preparations for their wedding start. And here we are also shown Victoria's wedding. She was getting married to a rich businessman. Here they were having the final dinner on their wedding day. Meanwhile, the dead people come there and start fearing them. At first, they all get scared, but when they see there are their own people who were dead, and they meet, hug each other, and become happy. Now the wedding of Victor and Corpse Bride was going on. They all go to the church and Victoria secretly comes here. She was seeing them secretly. The Corpse Bride sees Victoria and says to Victor, stop it, we will not get married. It has done this for the happiness of Victor and Victoria, so they can get married. But then Victoria's husband comes here and a big secret reveals here. But he was the would-be husband of the corpse bride who killed the corpse bride for... The man says to Victor, leave her now, Victoria is my wife. Victor says, no, never. So the man moves to Victor with a sword. Seeing him, the corpse bride also takes out its sword. It moves forward to kill the, the man was so proud. And he says, how can dead people kill us with it? He drinks the drink that was made for Victor. So he can drink it and can die because there was poison in it. Here we see the man dies and goes to the dead world. Victor and Victoria get married. Victor apologizes to the corpse bride. The corpse bride says it is enough for me that you killed my murderer. It turns into butterflies and moves from there. This is the happy ending of this 